Hi, Robin with Oxy Dry. And uh, as you can see, I'm in my garage, and I just I would like to do a little video talking about this vacuum right here. Uh, this is, of course, my Hoover Hush Tone, which I've had for the last three or so, years or so, and um, very excellent vacuum. Lots of power, well made. Um, it's standing up overall to wear and tear. I, I've been using it every day for, well, I guess about three years or so. Um, and it, I vacuum and post vacuum every job that I do, uh, residential jobs anyway. Um, I have other vacuums that I might use on uh, commercial work, but um, or I might use this one, but um, that's for residential. This is what I almost always use. I will, in some cases, use my Kirby. Um, usually I will use the Kirby if it's a really thick plush carpet because uh, this vacuum is a little harder to push on the thicker plusher carpets and the Kirby is easier. And as far as power goes, they're going to be almost equal as far as their ability to pull dirt out of the carpet. And this is an excellent vacuum for that. It is better than, well, it's definitely better than the Pro Team, under which I used for years, it's a, which is a good vacuum. This is just better more power and some better design features. For one thing, you can access the brush roll just by flipping it over and um, opening it up. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, and the hose, um, this hose comes off here and it comes off here, um, comes off up here, comes off the back, so you can clean it out really easily. Uh, it has a HEPA filter that just, just pops off of there uh, it also has two speeds, um, and so you can do the normal, what I normally pre-vacuum at the full power, and then when I post-vacuum, I go half power. I guess it's about half power. And this particular one is the 15-inch wide model. There's a 13-inch wide model, um, and so this is the slightly wider one. This is the one that I bought a few years ago, and I think I paid like 480 or something like that for it at the time. The price has gone up for this model. Um, and um, over the years, I've had a, a few minor issues with it, nothing drastic. I did replace the brush roll once because I wore it out, so it's got a second brush roll. I did replace the belt. It was still working, but it was once in a while it would slip a little bit, at least when it first started up, and then once it warmed up, it was okay, but I had bought an extra belt just in case. Um, they're considered a lifetime belt. It's a reinforced belt, like a, it's got a fiber core to it, so uh, they don't actually stretch. But anyway, uh, and so I have done a couple of repairs to it. Um, I dropped it once and broke something inside of the control mechanism. I guess there's a, there's a solid state circuit board in there. And uh, fortunately, the fellow that I took it to discovered that I, um, a connection had been broken off after I dropped it. And so he was able to solder it back together. It's been fine ever since. Uh, other than that, I, um, I had to reinforce the handle after a th almost three years the handle started to crack up here so I epoxied it and I put some a couple of metal actually I think I used um, coat hanger in there and reinforced it and uh, it's been fine ever since but you know every day using it you're constantly stressing and the handle here and eventually that did start cracked so I epoxied that the uh, bracket on the back where the hose or the hose <laughs> The power cord um, wraps that cracked, and uh, I could have epoxied that, but I found this little bracket that I had, and I thought, oh, that'll work perfect. So I've been using that ever since. I just put it in place. The um, back side of the clip here broke off, but uh, actually, it worked perfectly fine just like that. And then at the bottom of where the hose hangs, that um, uh, broke crack there so I just cut it off and, and it, it hasn't interfered in any way with the way it functions um, basically minor things um, and I've had the hose split on me twice now so the hose is now a little bit shorter which, which is normal these stretchy hoses you know where you constantly pull it off um, you know pulling away from the vacuum the attachment point here or up or up here eventually you it'll it'll weaken and eventually you'll have to it'll split open and so that that's happened twice so i probably lost about two inches um, in total maybe off of the hose it's still functioning um but i know that uh, as you wear these machines wear out you know uh, they won't last forever and i have worn out many pro teams <clears throat> and i had many uh parts on the pro team fall apart the whole back handle fell, fell apart on 
on one of my machines and I'm not sure if this was the one I had to replace the whole top part because underneath here it all cracked open and it just it just started falling up they started falling apart um, now the other thing about the pro team comparing it to the uh, to the uh, hush tone is that the pro team you cannot access the uh, brush roll without you got to undo about six or eight screws underneath there and then the whole then the whole top part comes off and, and it's a lot more to get at um it tends to clog um because of the design it, it's a good machine i'm not saying not not knocking it uh, but uh, and it has a two motor system which is not a not a really a problem but anyway I, it's a, a it was designed many years ago decades ago um and it's a good machine but this is a better machine anyway um and as far as power goes um, if you watch my buddy uh, Paul of Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning, uh, he's got a YouTube channel, and he just recently, um, he's been using a hush, hush tone for a while. He uh, took my advice and bought one. <laughs> and um, anyway, he also had, a, I think, a Eureka, uh, I don't know what it's called, uh, something rather, a $100 vacuum. He did an interesting comparison test recently where he showed that although the the uh, eureka hundred dollar walmart vacuum does vacuum what he discovered was that it actually isn't pulling out the deep down grit and the heavier soils like a, a, this commercial machine will do and that's something that we have to bear in mind if you're going to be going and using your vacuum day by day to do carpet cleaning um, you really should be using a machine that's going to have the power and the durability over the long run. I mean, yeah, you're going to pay, um, I think, in the U.S., I think this machine is uh, four, f 450 maybe $500. i am not sure what it is. You go and look on Amazon. I think that's where you, you usually buy one. That's where I bought this one, through Amazon. I've been very happy with it. it I think it's, over, of all the vacuums I've used, and I've used many vacuums over the years, this has definitely been the best vacuum, I think, for um, our purposes. Um, I carry this as well as a Kirby on my v my van. I always I have two vacuums anyway. Just I mean, one day you know you it might your vacuum might stop working. Like one of the day that I dropped this thing, I fell over backwards and and <laughs> that was the end of the it running that day. So I, I switched over to the Kirby and that's that's fine. But the, one of the advantages of a vacuum like this is I do have the ability to do the edges and corners because that pipe pops off and away you go. Whereas with the Kirby, uh, that you can attach a hose to it, but it's a pain in the butt. And uh, what I used to do when I was using the Kirby all the time is I would have my little uh, shark rocket. And uh, so I'd carry that into the house. But that gets a little inconvenient to be carrying another vacuum when you can just have one that does everything. So anyway, those are some of the things I wanted to point out. Now, the whole purpose of my video is I wanted to show you guys something. I've got a new purchase. The other day I was on Facebook Marketplace, as I go on there often now, because I found some really good deals. Started off with a little um, spotter tool, spotter machine. I was just on there one day, and I, I was wanting to get one of these things, and, and uh, voila, one of these things popped up on Marketplace. And I think I paid $250 for this thing, and it was obviously hardly used. This is an older model but it works great um so i've been able to put that to use quite a few times and i was glad to get that and then uh, the other thing that i bought on facebook marketplace was my this came up i was thinking of buying one of these things to keep my eye open i knew what they were worth the karcher or the lindhaus or the clark i was considering ordering one and then one of these came up and i paid twelve hundred dollars for that and it's had virtually no use to it it was um, a dental clinic had bought it and then the cleaning lady didn't like it so it sat there and did nothing and then i well I, I had already purchased this roto wash but i was thinking you know if i could find another uh, crb uh roto wash or whatever it'd be nice to find one of those and lo and behold next thing i knew this thing came up on uh, facebook marketplace and i've got a couple of parts i have to replace not a big deal uh, they should be in any day now and so I've got the multi-wash which is actually ideal for uh, residential for hardwood floors etc the roto wash is fine too but this is just a little bit more compact it's a little bit lighter 
easier to carry and uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to putting that to use a lot more um so anyway that's the other thing and then um i've been thinking of replacing my uh hoover hush tone because i knew that this thing was getting on in years and it was only a matter of time before you know i have a catastrophic failure of something you know the motor or, or something or a major plastic piece will break and i won't be able to fix it so i've been thinking about ordering up another hush tone and then the other day it was on, i guess it was on friday i was on marketplace and uh this came up and that was three hundred dollars and it's hardly been used at all i mean it actually still has the uh plastic um protector on the on the uh uh, plate on the bottom there anyway um now three hundred dollars is a really good deal because in canada um for me to order this with tax would be about five hundred and ninety dollars so i got a really good deal at almost brand new it's, it's, it's probably the guy said he'd use it for about an hour or so and then it, they were moving into a new house that has all hardwood and they don't need it anymore and so he uh put it on marketplace and i saw it there and i oh i gotta buy that so anyway i bought this and um i was going to show you one of the features about this that does make it a great vacuum for the um professional so here's the uh the plastic protectors thing is still on there pull it off see look at that Okay, it's going to take a little bit of a... Come on. There we go. Ooh. Just like uh, when you get a sunburn, you got to... And you peel your skin off. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. There. Um, so, now one of the reasons this is an excellent vacuum for us guys who are out cleaning carpets all day long is you do have to get out the brush roll and clean things out of there sometimes. And so this vacuum as opposed to the protein which requires like i think there's about at least six if not eight screws this you just go snap that back snap that back snap that back and there you go you're right at it and there's the the um permanent belt and it has a feature by the way that if the brush roll stops the machine immediately shuts down it's got what they call the intella belt which means that it's well it's an automatic shut off so that you don't break anything um oh i just want to point one thing out now there's this um this uh sweeper thing here for those of you guys who have one of these vacuums um when you're on a plush carpet this sweeper thing is kind of a pain in the butt because it will drag on the carpet but you can take it out like so the purpose of this by the way is for hard floor that's why this is here so when you're on a hard floor uh, and the brush roll is spinning it'll tend to flick things behind the vacuum so if you have this off then it'll be easier for you to move it back and forth on the carpet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick this inside the um where the bag goes and if i run into a hard floor and i need to use it like that i'll just slide that back in place it's not hard to do so look at that I'm just sliding it back in place. Piece of cake. There you go. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Little tip. So, um, and uh, of course, there's the, the uh, adjustment up and down uh, device there. So, that's the Hoover Hush Tone. And I'm um, looking forward to putting this thing to work. Excellent vacuum. Oh, you want to hear it. <laughs> oh, one thing about them also is um, it comes with a. Um, the way they put the power cord on is actually, it's actually uh, plugs in with an extension cord. So you can just, uh, if your cord broke, you just grab an extension cord and stick it on there and, uh, you know, you're back in business immediately. So I did run it briefly when I bought it, but let's turn it on again here. Of course, the, there's a release right here. And then you turn it on. Oh. I actually had pulled that off earlier. Really. I guess I didn't quite put it back in place right. There, there we go.
we're going to adjust, manually adjust it. There we go. You can hear it on the, on the uh, carpet now. Um, as far as, uh, and of course there's the low, low speed setting right there. As far as these two vacuums, um, I think this actually is a better choice for residential being the slightly narrower uh, vacuum. This is going to be better for uh, the more bigger jobs, slightly wider, be a bit faster, not a much faster, but for residential, this would be a little bit more nimble getting around in crampy areas. Um, not that I really have a problem with that, but there's occasions when if it was just a little bit narrower, it would fit in between the bed and the, and the wall and things like that. So anyway, that's the one I got. And that's the one I was, if I was going to order another one, I was planning to, but to order this, uh, the 13 inch here. So anyway, there you go. That's the Hoover hush tone. So, uh, a little, uh, some tips there and, uh, there you go. So thank you very much for watching and uh, have a good day.